good time, didn't you, Doc? Huh? Didn't I tell you old Vince Dagan show you a good time? I told you I've got to get back home. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, it ain't gonna be dark for a while yet. Oh, come on. I didn't know you would like it. I've got to go now. I've stayed longer than I should already. I'm in such a hurry, honey. You know how I feel about you. Hmm? Listen, you know my pa. He whipped the skin off my back. I've got to get home before he does. I ain't scared of your pa. If he lays a hand on you, just tell me. I'll take care of you. Not Vince. Stop, Vince. Vince, stop it. Stop it, Vince. Vince! Hey, Vince, come on, Lee Oh, come on, honey. Stop it! Come on, but you're drunk. Forget it. I've been owning this cart right up for a long time. Go on, let him go if that's what he wants. Forget it, Dagan. Please, Vince, I don't want any trouble. We said leave it alone, didn't we? Anytime you want to finish this, Vince, you just let me know. Hey, wait, don't. Why, you, what's the matter with you? You're trying to start trouble around here and have the sheriff nosing into our affairs. I don't like this, Vince. You've taken too big a chance playing around with Sheriff Kincaid's daughter. All right. So I'm taking a chance. I happen to like it that way. Makes sense, Vince. That Kincaid's meter and a wolf tracking a calf. So I heard. Well, his kind don't bother me none. <laughs> so it's none of my business. I'm just trying to be a friend, that's all. You're always running around with the wrong kind of people. And who should I run around with? The ones the high and mighty Cartwrights picked for me? Now look, I didn't mean that, and you know it. But you are going to get in trouble with a man like Vince Dagan. If I get in trouble, I'll handle it. And what's wrong with Vince Dagan? Oh, what's wrong with Vince Dagan? He's a drunk and a thief. We had to throw him off the Ponderosa for stealing. Well, this is not the Ponderosa. And I don't plan on holding one little mistake against him for the rest of his life. All right, Dolly, forget it. Look, I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to fight with you either, Joe. <sighs> Maybe Vince isn't everything I'd like him to be. But he's good to me. I get lonesome. Dad never lets me out of this house. Uh, don't forget your father being sheriff. He's seen a lot of the bad side of life. Maybe he just wants to protect you from the wrong kind of people. I guess he wouldn't consider you the wrong kind of people, would he, Joe? But you don't consider me the right kind of people, do you? Oh, I didn't say that. You didn't have to say that, even when we were kids in school. All you Cartwrights consider yourself too good for anybody else. Dolly, that's not true, and you what know What are you doing it. here, Cartwright? And you, you get in the house. I was just walking Dolly home. I happened to see her at the store. She had no business at the store. I told her to stay home. Well, wait a minute. There's nothing to get so excited about. Don't you tell me how to run my family. Now, you get out of here and stay away from my daughter. Look, Mr. Kincaid, I've known Dolly for a long time. I think it's up to her to tell me whether or not she'd like to see me. She don't make the decisions around here. I do. Look, I told you to get in the house. Look, if you just listen... Now, look, you. You try to understand this. I ordered her to stay home. If she tries to see you or anybody else, I'll whip the hide off her back. Now, you get out of here and stay away from my daughter. Do as he says, Joe. See you real soon, Dolly. Pa, I 
did all my work. I even sewed your shirts the way you asked me to. Well, now that's nice. Must have took you most all day, didn't it? Just about. Sure. Well, I'm glad to see you got more to you than your ma ever had. Her now, she'd have gone out dancing or something as soon as I turned my back. Please, Bob, do we have to talk about that? What else do you want me to talk about? Man does the best he knows how, and his woman goes running off with another man. Oh, I'm tired. I'm going. Don't to... you walk away from me. I told you not to leave the house, didn't I? You can't keep me locked up. I'm not one of your prisoners. All I did was walk down to the store with Vince Dagan. Yes, and you come back with young Cartwright. You're just like your ma. One man ain't enough for you. <laughs> ma didn't run out. You drove her off, just like you're going to drive me off. I'm not trying to drive you out, honey. I'm trying to protect you. Dolly, you more believed anything any man said to her. You're just like she was. You're as pretty as she is, Dolly. And I'm not going to have you running off with the first worthless saddle tramp that whispers in your ear. I wasn't running off. I just went down to the store. To meet a man. Yes, to meet a man. I meet a dozen men. Because I'm no good. Because I'm just like my mom. Isn't that what you want me to say? <laughs> Paul, me and Adam have to ride up there and check that drift fence out today. You sound as if you don't want it. Well, the horse wants to follow up on a wolf sign he saw over in the canyon. You still feel sure it was wolves, do you? Oh, sure, Paul. Ain't no cowards ever go up in that country that high. And besides, them tracks is way too big. Well, it's possible. Old timers insist there's still a lot of timber wolves up there. Boy, I sure would like to get a look at one of them. Well, if lack of game in the mountains has driven a pack down this low, we better do more than just take a look at one. I understand they can pull down a grown steer when they're hungry. That's right, Paul. Yeah, and the miserable brutes that try to trap. I just don't like putting out poison bait. No, oh, that ain't no good, Paul. Look here, how come me and Adam don't ride up there and take a look around? We could check with old man Traeger. He's always bragging about how he used to hunt them wolves for a living anyhow. Mm -hmm. Well, let's check the fence first, and uh, then we'll decide. Uh, is breakfast ready? Well, we were just thinking about supper. You sure you had enough sleep? No, not quite, but it's gonna have to do. Oh, well, do you think maybe you could talk yourself into a riding fence with us, huh? Older brother, how can you be so practical this early in the morning? Maybe because he's been up for a little while. You were uh, out a little late, weren't you? Yeah, well, I had to ride all the way from Placerville. I stopped off at Mormon Flats to get something to eat, ran into the Kincaids. Oh, was that uh, on purpose or accident? Well, it was a little bit of both. You know, I really feel sorry for Dolly Kincaid. Sorry? She never had any trouble uh, finding somebody to chase after her. No, I think it's the other way around. I think she never had any trouble finding somebody to chase. Well, what are you worried about, little brother? You ain't never had no trouble outrunning her. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so worried about Dolly? Ah, oh, she's running around with that Vince Dagan. Dagan? Wait, wait, that, uh, that fellow we fired last year? Yeah. I ran into him coming out of Callahan's store. Yeah? Yeah, Dagan and I had a few words. When I took Dolly home, her father ran me off with a shotgun. Uh, you don't mean literally. Well, he didn't pull the trigger, but he wasn't kidding. Well, what's he got against you? You and Dolly have known each other for years. Yeah, well, he can go whistle up a tree off of me. I wasn't going to take Dolly out, but I think I will now. Well, don't get involved in a family affair. Kincaid's wounds are kind of raw right now, so give him a little time to settle down. Hmm. It doesn't seem right to me that he should keep his daughter locked up like a prisoner just because he's mad at the whole world. Well, I don't say it's right, but uh, you're not going to help Dolly any by waving a red flag in front of Kincaid's nose. I never thought about it that way. Tell you what, why don't you ride out tomorrow morning with Adam and Hoss? They're going out to check that wolf sign that Hoss thinks he saw up in the canyon. Now, what are you trying to do, Pa? Get my mind off Dolly Kincaid. Well, that's what you wanted me to do, wasn't it? Vince! What was he expecting, little Joe Cartwright? You were drinking last night. Then you started fighting. I was afraid my father would see me. There wasn't anything else I could do. Well, of course, there was nothing else you could do. It was my fault. I come by to apologize. Apologize? Yeah, I'm trying to. 
I couldn't sleep last night thinking. I don't know how to say this, but when you walked out on me yesterday, I just knew I ain't ever gonna let you do that to me again. I've been standing out there waiting for your paw to leave. I know how it is between you and him, the way he treats you. You don't know how it is. It's like being locked up in a cage. I can't stand it anymore. I know. And I ain't gonna stand by and let it happen to you. I'm gonna take you out of here. I, I don't think I'm taking too much for granted. Because I think you feel about me the same as I do about you. Yes, you know how I feel about you. It's just that I was never really sure of you. We well, are now, ain't you? You could sneak away in the morning, early, meet me up on the trail, I'll tell you where. That's what you want, ain't it? Oh, you know it's what I want more than anything else in the world. But people don't just do this. They don't just pack up and leave. They do if they're in love. What about my dad? Well, I heard him talking to some men. He, he's going to be pretty busy in the morning. No need to worry about him. Work out fine, honey. Look, I'm gonna be taking care of you from now on. Do it? Oh, Vince, you don't know how I've dreamed about this. To get away, to be with you. Hey, look at this. These are the same tracks I found down below. Yeah, no coyote made tracks that big. Quite a pack of them, wouldn't you say? Yep. What do you make of it? Well, over there, it looks like something big's been drugged along. Yeah, it's a plain trail. Let's follow it. Tendon on that hind leg's been cut half in two. I just don't see how the wolves dragged him that far. They didn't drag him. A couple of them probably worried him until one of them got his teeth in his leg. The wolf got dragged. Yeah, I reckon we must have scared them all, huh? Yeah. They didn't even touch the meat. Yeah, we didn't do ourselves any favors either. They'll just drag down the next stray steer they come across. Now, yeah, what do you think we ought to do? Well, I'll go on back and tell Pa what we run into. Why don't you two go on up to Traeger's cabin? See if you can hire him to help us out. It's a good idea. Now, a horse and I will bunk in with Traeger. We'll work out of his place. All right. Save a couple of those wolves for me. We'll see you around the end of the week. Right. I was worrying you wouldn't come. I told you I'd be waiting. Oh, I've waited so long for you to come along. Anybody see you get away? No. I was so lucky. Some outlaws robbed the bank last night. Pa headed out with a posse after them. Well, you sure were lucky. Did you, uh, notice which way they were headed? To Fells Crossing. Why? <laughs> well, uh, you wouldn't want to run into your pa now, would you? Come on. Get out of here. The further we get from Mormon Flats, the better I like it. I wonder what's keeping Dagan. You know what's keeping him. That girl. Hell, he should have kept the girl out of this. Everything came off real smooth. It's even more money in the vault than we figured on. Now, you know that ain't good enough for Vance Dagan. He wants the money and the girl. <laughs> I'm plenty sick of what he wants all the time. If that girl gets in my way, I'll... Now, calm down, Roby. I think it's right funny. We robbed the bank, and he, he, he runs off with the sheriff's daughter. I think that's really funny. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think it's so funny. If he doesn't show up here in another 10 minutes, I'm moving on. You gonna go without the money, Clay? Now, Vince knows what he's doing. Now, he's got that money in his saddlebags. <laughs> Clay, 
Well, now, do you boys have a good sleep for yourselves? We ain't been down out of these saddles for one single minute. You're setting a pretty hard pace, Kincaid. We're doing the best we can. Well, your best ain't good enough. Not for me, it ain't. If you spend less time worrying about keeping up with me and more time looking for signs, you may find something. Now go on back there and take a good look this time. I'm heading up into the high country. You're going on alone? It's faster. You'd only hold me up. If you see anything, fire a signal. That is, if you know how to use a gun. Come on, boys. We better get back. Do what he tells us. I thought you said they was headed for Fells Crossing. They were when I saw them. Is my father with them? They must have split up. Or else they're backtracking. How many was there when you saw them? I don't know. Is my father with them? Forget about your father, will you? Vince. Please don't let him take me back. Vince, say you'll take care of me. Sure, sure. Vince, what are you going to do? You said you wanted me to take care of you, didn't you? And that's just what I'm going to do. See me. Come on, let's get out of here. I told you we'd get in trouble. Every time Dagan gets mixed up with a woman, we're in trouble. That ain't no ordinary woman. That's the sheriff's daughter. <laughs> Look, it's one thing to hold up the bank at Mormon Flats, but it ain't part of the job to wait around and get hung for it. You should have cut the money into shares. Each man would be on his way by now. I'd think on that if I was you, Roby. What chance would one man have alone out there, one man against all them possemen? We stick together, we got a chance. We split up later, when we're out of danger. Just like Dagan figured it. Oh, it's Dagan and the girl. I told you not to worry. Are you late, Dagan? Vince, what are they doing here? Oh, the boys? Why, you met Clegg, Roby, and Poker in town the other day, remember? Well, they're old friends, and I thought they might like to ride along with us for a while. It's all right, ain't it? Sure. Just surprised me for a minute, that's all. What took you so long? Why, ain't you heard? Big bank robbery and Mormon flats last night. In fact, we run into a posse back of the trailer piece. They didn't see you, did they? Nah, we dodged them. Dolly here's right good at dodging posses. She ain't a bit anxious to have her paw catch up to her. Yeah, I'll bet them bank robbers ain't a bit anxious to have her paw catch up to them, neither. <laughs> Isn't funny. A bank cashier was killed. No, it ain't funny, Poke. I'm sorry, ma'am. Bet ain't no concern of ours, honey. Main thing is we keep your paw from catching up to us. Come on, boys. <laughs>
All right, Trigger. Hey. Ain't seen you two fellas in a coon's age. What brings you up around these parts? Well, we ran into what we think's a wolf sign in Cedar Canyon. Wolf sign? Uh-huh. Yeah, we found where they drug down one of our steers. Adam sent us up here. I thought you might want to help. I remember you telling me one time, Mr. Trigger, about being a professional wolfer. Yeah, I was, for money. Cost you $10 and I keep the pelts. All right, you got a deal. Is it all right if we bunk with you for a couple of days? Uh, suit yourself, but you got to pay for your own grub. Say, uh, uh, speaking of wolves, you didn't run into Sheriff Kincaid back there. Kincaid? No, why should we? You mean you haven't heard? There was a big bank robbery in Mormon Flats last night. A bank robbery? Sure was. Sheriff himself told me. <laughs> a bank robbery in Mormon Flats? That is news. Yeah, I reckon it is that, but I don't reckon there's anything we can do about it. While we're sitting here talking about it, the wolves probably packing off some more of our steers. Yeah, I guess you're right. Now, come on, let's go. Uh, don't rush me, Jess. Don't rush me. I ain't walking all the way down there. I gotta get my horse and saddle him. Hey, someone's coming. It must be the rest of that Kincaid posse. Why don't you have Trigger saddle up? I'll talk to Dagan, what are you doing? Dolly. Vince, what's the trouble? Keep her out of this. Clank and poke, keep him covered. I'll get his gun. What's the matter, Dagan? Can't you take care of this yourself? All right, you two, drop your guns. I said drop them. Well, looky here. All just one big happy family. <laughs> Joe, you know anything about this? You still want trouble, Dagan? Why don't you put your gun away? I'll give it to you. Vince, I want to know why get you're in doing the house. this. Hope, get her in the house and keep her there. Come on. Come on, they can put your gun away. Keep pushing, and I'll bust this gun right over your head. I'll take care of you later. You, what do you do here? I'm just a trapper, that's all. Cartwright boys asked me to help to catch some wolves and pest them in their beef. You got a lot of grub in that cabin? Some. Dagan, you ain't figuring on holding up here, are you? You got a better idea. What's the matter, Dagan? Possibly getting too close? Anybody else around here? Just the Cartwright boys. Folks don't come up here often. That's just fine. All right. Come on, in the house. in the house and get him out of sight. I say we move. Till you say. I don't think you know what you're doing. That posse we saw. How do we know that's all of them? Suppose they split up and come in behind us. Well, I'll figure that out when it happens. Poker! 
I play what I got in front of me. I never bet on what the next car's gonna be until it falls. Get out there and put those horses in the barn and get some firewood in here. Let's warm this place up. So you're trying to duck the posse, huh, Vince? And supposing I am. You know old man King K. Would you want him catching up with Dolly when she's running off with me? I don't know. No, I wouldn't want him catching up with me either. Not if I just robbed a bank. What's he mean, Vince? Nothing. Don't pay him no heed. Now, what you got in the saddlebags, Vince? You don't seem to want to get very far away from them. You did rob the bank, didn't you, Vince? All right, so we robbed the bank. But why? For money, that's why. Where did you think you was going to live? Dolly. Look, Dolly, I did that for you. I was going to buy you all the nice things you never had in your life. But, Vince, you have to kill for it. Well, that bank clerk should know to went for his gun, not with old Vince digging around. <laughs> Looks like you pushed it a little bit too far this time, Vince. Who oh, did I? I got the money and the girl, didn't I? And what do you got? You're dead any time I tell Polk to pull that trigger. That's what you got. That's the honest truth, Mr. Cartwright. <laughs> I ought to have killed you, Dagan. I ought to have killed you the time I caught you stealing from us. <laughs> Should have done it. Now, don't you worry about it, Hoss. He's going to get it. That posse will be back, and Sheriff Kincaid will be with him. Now, don't you think Vince figured that out? Why else you think you brought that girl along? Shut up about the girl! Hey, now, that's a real good question, Vince. Why did you bring the girl? Well, it's plain enough to see. That Sheriff Papa Hurst comes around here looking for her, and it's gonna tell him to go away, else that girl's gonna get bad hurt. Ain't that right, Vince? <laughs> I said shut up the girl tonight! Vince, you should, not, you should not have done that. You shouldn't have done that at all. for you, honey, and everything you ever wanted. Don't worry about anything. Everything will be all right. You believe that, don't you? Two boys up here for a wolf hunt, huh? That's right. That posse's gonna get them some wolves, too. And it's gonna be the two-legged kind. Now, you two listen to me. If that posse shows, you're gonna tell them you hired us as wolfers, understand? Ah, oh, they're not gonna believe that. They know you, Dagan. They're gonna believe it, all right. When they leave, you're going to ride along with us until we clear this part of the country. And there ain't going to be any mishaps or else there are going to be two less cartwrights, I understand. <laughs> Put them horses away. Yeah. Hey, where's the girl? Oh, what do you care? <laughs> You better be careful, Dagan. He's gonna steal your girl away from you. Take it easy, Joe. Oh, don't worry, horse. They need us. They need us real bad. Don't push your luck. Leave him alone. How do we know the posse's even out there? They might have turned back. I ain't taking that chance. 
Yeah, well, maybe you better bury Traeger while you're at it. Sometimes them posses get pretty nosy. Yeah. Craig's right. We're gonna dig a grave up on your feet. You're like a wolf, ain't you? You don't know what you're doing. You change your mind without rhyme or reason. Dolly, we got things to do. We're gonna bury Traeger. Well, honey, it's, it's the least we can do, ain't it? We'll find shovels in the barn. Flag, you watch them. And Hall's here. It's gonna help us. Up on your feet. Ruby and Polk. Dolly. You help Clay keep an eye on him. looking at me like that. You can't like it, don't you, fella? You try anything and you won't see your little brother. <laughs> we're gonna get you, Diggin. One way or another, we're gonna get you. Come on, dig. Let's get started. What's the matter with you? Somebody gotta watch him, don't they? Besides, you wanna thank me. Who'd have thought of the barn, huh? You better get your mind off of her. Jangler, I'm no part of you. <laughs> How far do you think you're gonna get after you leave this territory, Clegg? <laughs> they don't even know who we are. Oh, we do. <laughs> well, that ain't gonna make much of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get me shaved every day, every day in the week. I'm gonna eat and drink until I bust. <laughs> well, that sounds real great, Clay. Yeah. How many men do you think you kill? <laughs> well, I see. I don't rightly remember now. I see there's one, two, kill you for this. What are you doing with them, Dolly? You're not their kind. Come on, give me the gun, Dolly. You just want to save your necks. Yours and Haas. Yeah, that's right. I want to save our necks. And I want to save your neck, too. I don't believe you. Nobody ever did anything decent for me. Nobody except Vince. Oh, nobody but Vince. You think Vince robbed that bank for you? He robbed it for himself. He'll kick you out the day he's tired of you. Don't say that. It's true, Dolly. You turned me in right along with Vince. Well, this is my chance to live. 
And I'm taking it. Nobody gives you anything but what you take for yourself. Oh, come on, Dolly, that isn't so, and you know it. You don't think I'd use this, do you? One more step. Yeah, Dolly, I think you'd use it. To keep from going back to that father of mine, I'd do anything. Joe tried to get away. I stopped him. That's the try. No, I'm gonna fix you real good. Megan, I never did figure you for much guts. Why don't you try taking him without that pistol in your hand? When I'm good and ready, I will. Now sit down! You did fine, Dolly. Real fine. Riding back and forth through these canyons all night. What good does it do? Don't forget, Sheriff Kincaid hasn't had any more sleep than we have. That Kincaid, he's like a wolf on the scent. He ain't gonna give up till he gets what he come after. No, neither are we. John and I are right over by old man Traeger's place. Kincaid might not have been there yet. The rest of you, take a look through that box canyon down there. She's out there. All right, Vince, you're so smart. Now what do we do? Told you I figured when I come to, didn't I? Well, I got it figured. Well, then, Vince, why don't you just tell us what we're going to do? Well, I'm going to stay in here. What about the rest of us? Sheriff don't know the rest of you. Ain't like you the posse would. You're going out there. I ain't talking to no lawman. You don't got no need to. Horse Cartwright's going to do that for you. He hired you boys to hunt wolves. Like I said, remember? I'll try to remember. You better. I'm gonna be right in here with this gun on your little brother's head. Any shooting that starts, he gets it first. Now get. Just don't get nervous with that gun. Hurry up. Boss, what are you doing away out here? Been some wolves pestering some for a cattle. Well, Joe and me decided to ride up and talk to Mr. Traeger about it. You couldn't find a better man for the job? Mr. Traeger around? Nope. He rode out early this morning to set some traps. I haven't seen you boys around before, have I? There are some men we hired to help us hunt the wolves. Oh. Sheriff Kincaid been by here yet? I ain't seen him, but... Mr. Traeger said he saw him yesterday. Sheriff told him about the... about the bank robbery. We've been out all night. You know Kincaid. Yeah. I know him well enough to know that... whoever those bank robbers are, they ain't gonna get away. I promise you that. Well, if you do see anything around, Hoss, you let us know, will you? We'll be around. Right. Good hunting. Same to you. How'd it go? Hey, you'd have been right proud of court, right, Vince? He did real fine. What do you mean he did real fine? The last thing that deputy said was the posse would be staying around close. What I want to know is how do we get out of here? Yeah, well, I don't know about the rest of you, but Clegg, Polk, Roby, you can ride out any time you want to. What do you mean by that? Oh, you went out to the posse. I was told them you were wolfers working for us. They believed it. You can ride out any time you want to. They won't stop you. Hey, listen, kid. You make sense, you know that? I'm no bank robber. I'm a wolfer. I can ride right out of here. Ain't nobody walking. I'm running this shebang. And it looks to me like you're running right into the ground. 
Of course, you boys want to wait around here for a while. Sheriff Kincaid's bound to show up. He's going to be a little tougher to convince than that deputy. Vince, I'm scared. I want to get out of here. Well, Dolly, what do you have to be scared about? You get all that money? You got a man like Vince Stegan to take care of you? Shut up, Joe! <laughs> Now you listen to me, Ollie. You're gonna get your cut. Yeah, you boys know when you're gonna get it. When the posse's got you hanging from a tree. Joe, you remember that old big oak tree down the road a piece? Mm-hmm. That thing ought to be big enough to hang at least three of them in a row, don't you reckon? Oh, heck yes. Three of them and room for Dagan. Stop it! Stop talking that way! Oh, you didn't think it was gonna end any other way, did you, Dolly? Trying to be decent, you cut rights. Oak, get rid of him. Yeah, go ahead, Poke. The posse will be here the minute you pull that trigger. That's right. You know, Joe, that Sheriff Kim Cage's got, got ears like a wolf. That's what I hear. What about it, Dolly? You know him a lot better than we do. Stop it! Vince, make them stop it! Make them stop it! Never mind! I'll do it myself. No, you're not going to kill anybody, Vince. You've got a long way to go. You can't make it without us. You never was any good, Dagan. Never a day in your life. Good. What Roby says about us right now to here, that makes pretty good sense. And I'm going to. You just try and stop me. You nowhere. Well, it's real nice to meet your friends on a social level, Dolly. You caught rights. You know everything, don't you? I don't care what you or anyone else thinks. I'm staying with Vince. Now, uh, you listen to me, all of you. Drop that gun, Dagan. Hold it! Those four of them, boss. Where's the other one? You can't look out! Hit him! I've been asking for this for a long time. Shooting might bring the posse back. Come on, Dolly, we gotta go. What about Pa? What are you worried about your Pa for? Well, we can't just leave him here. What you want, ain't it? Gotta get out of here. <coughs> Clegg, Steve Pope can ride. Roby, you see that them Cartwrights don't follow us. Come on, Dolly. Are you coming or not? Yeah, sure, she's going with you. You're just what she's always wanted, Dagan. Come on, Dolly. You know, your father was right. You're just no good, Dolly. That's right, Joe. 
I'm no good, at least not by your standards. And that's the way I like it. <laughs> so long, you cartwrights. Do nothing. Dad? You're going to be all right, Trev. You had a close call. The money. Did you get it back? They didn't have a chance to spend a single penny of it. You needn't worry about Dagan's boys, neither. They're all locked up tight in a jug down your jailhouse. That is what's left of them. Trev, wouldn't you like to know about Dolly? You know, she's been right here by your side since the boys brought you in. Running off with a man like Dagan. Why'd she have to do that, Ben? Well, maybe it's because she thought you, you didn't care. You think it was only the money in the bank robbers I was worried about? When I found out Dolly was gone, then you don't know what it's like trying to raise a girl. No, I, I guess I don't. But I do know what it's like trying to raise three sons. And sometimes you, you have to show them a little affection and understanding. You ever try that with Dolly? No. Your father's asking for you. Dolly, be patient with him. He needs you very much. As for you, young man, next time you visit Dolly Kincaid, ask your father's permission first. Have an idea, he'll give it to you. Yeah, but don't wait too long, eh? because at the rate that young lady's growing up, I might just ask permission myself. Hey, wait a minute, older brother. Don't you think we got troubles enough in this outfit with one lady's man? Well, how did you ever get mixed up in this family? I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs>